Hey guys, welcome back to the 68 Corvair build. In this video here, we're going to be covering chroming the bumpers. Now, I have two sets of bumpers that I'm going to chrome because I plan on doing one with the all-clad paint and the other with the Molotov. And uh, let's see which one comes out better. Now, if you watched my last video, you noticed that one is white, which is just bare styrene. The other one has a weird lacquer coating, which is underneath most chrome parts today. So, don't know if that's going to have any effect on it, but let's go and give it a shot and see what happens. Now, the first step in the chroming process, at least for the all-clads, is you have to have a nice, gl shiny, gloss black base. That's what really brings a chrome to life and really gives you that shine. So, what I'm doing is I'm painting all of the parts with Tamiya black. That's a really high gloss black. And... It's a quick and easy uh, spray. They dry very quickly, so you can just jump right to the chroming without too much waiting. So, uh, let's go and get back in black. <laughs> We're going to spray with our airbrush the all clad to chrome color. As you can see, as I'm spraying it, and I'm doing this at about uh, 15, maybe 12 to 15 psi, you can see it starts to turn to chrome right before your eyes. As the all clad chrome sprays beautifully, lays smoothly, and just instantly starts to become chrome as you're spraying it. Now you want to spray it lightly and just slowly build up the color till you get to the chrome the chrome look that you want. As if you lay too much too quickly, it can sort of dull the chrome out a little bit. But uh, it's uh, amazing how it just instantly transforms to chrome. Now we're going to start with the rear bumper and once again you'll see how the black with just very light spraying of the all clad chrome will instantly just start to turn into chrome it's uh, really just something to see the all clad is perfect for airbrushing it just uh, flows beautifully out of your brush and if you haven't tried their paints you should everything I've tried from them has been fantastic Now here on the second set of bumpers, we're going to try the Molotov Chrome Pen so that we can see what the difference is. Now as I was spraying this, I realized I had grabbed the wrong airbrush as when you paint with the Molotov, you have to use a large tip because you really have to hose this stuff on so that it'll give you a beautiful chrome finish. And the airbrush I was using was way too small and way too fine of an airbrush. And it's just kind of aerating the Molotov paint or ink, whatever it is, as, uh, as it sprays it. And that was giving me a very cloudy, silvery look. I had to slow down my paint and slow down my painting. And then I had to turn the air pressure down and the, and just hose the entire bumper and that's when I started to get into a chrome effect. Now the Molotov has a incredible leveling properties where no matter how much you put on it just levels itself right out. So as you can see the chrome started to come out the more Molotov 
product I put on this bumper. But at that point, I had started to lose some detail because I had to hold so much paint onto it. So, it wasn't a great painting experience with the model tile pen, but that was mostly my fault because I'm using the wrong tool. At this point, you can see the chrome is starting to get that really shiny finish as I'm just applying more and more coats of the Molotov to this front bumper. Now we're going to repeat the exact same procedure on the rear, on the second rear bumper using the Molotov. Applied with the owlclad chrome over Tamiya Black, which just looks amazing. The only drawback is that uh, we focus on this. Uh, the only drawback is that the chrome appears a little dark, but it does look really, really good. Here we have the chrome laid on. We're using Molotov chrome pen. Now I did have one little problem with this as I used an airbrush. You have to use a large tip and you really have to hose this stuff on for it to look good. It levels out beautifully and I've had better luck with it in the past but I used the wrong airbrush with too small of a tip and too fine of a tip and it sort of aerated the Molotov a little too much. But as you can see, it has, uh, even with the way I screwed it up, it looks amazing. But you really have to hose it on in order to build this up. Here I'm doing a test fit just to see how the chrome looks with the body. And I think it looks fantastic. A very realistic finish. Now we have to add some clear coat. Now the clear that I'm using is the all clad aqua gloss clear. It's the only clear that you can use with their chrome paint. As if you use anything else, it will change the color of the chrome as I found out the hard way on my small scale group build. Now the first thing I'm doing is I'm using the aqua gloss on the Molotov because uh, this is more of an experiment than anything else. I wanted to see if the model, if the Aqua Gloss Clear could be used on a Molotov pen because as we all know the Molotov takes a very very long time to dry and once even after it dries if you touch it you can cause it to discolor. So I'm going to see if the Aqua Gloss will work to protect it and uh, if it can be used over the Molotov as the Molotov does look good if you spray it right. Okay, now we are going to spray the all clad painted pieces with the Aqua Gloss Clear. Now the Aqua Gloss Clear, you have to make sure that if you put it in your gun, you spray it fast and uh, then clean your gun right out because it starts to gunk up and clog up your gun as soon as you pour it in there. Now here we have, here you see me spraying it on the Aqua Gloss Clear. It seems to be maintaining its a really good shine. We're going to see the finished product when we're all done and see if they maintain their really nice high chrome look even after clearing. Here we have 
have our finished product our chrome bumper this is the all clad part now as you can see when you do add the clear it does dull it down quite a bit but to me it seems almost like this is a more realistic shine than the super super bright chrome which the all clad had which really did look great but this still looks pretty good now you don't really have to apply the clear, but if you don't, you have to be very careful as the all clad finish is very fragile and can be scratched very easily. And as you're handling it, you can actually wear off the chrome to reveal the black underneath. Now let's take a look at the front bumper. See how that came out. Okay, here's our front bumper and it looks really good. got a very realistic chrome finish I'm very happy with the way this came out and again the aqua gloss sprays very well but you have to use it quickly you can even see the reflection of the headlights in the bumper itself it's a very realistic finish Alright, let's take a look at the mess that is the model tiles. And here you can see the model tile is still much brighter than the all clads. And the clear doesn't seem to have had an adverse reaction to it. So that you can use the Aqua Gloss Clear to seal up the model tile. So it does work. No, I'm going to strip these parts down and then we're going to try this test again. This time I'm going to spray it correctly and we'll see how it all comes out. But well, this is more or less the finish you're going to get using the Molotov Chrome Pen. Now, I'll have to check it when it's completely dry and see if it protects the finish as well as I hope. And here's a look at the rear bumper of the Molotov with the Aqua Gloss. The rear bumper, I think, was a bit more successful than the front. It gives it more of a satin finish as opposed to a really bright chrome, which is realistic for a car of the vintage. But uh, not bad, not bad at all. All right, guys, well, there we have it. That's the entire procedure for chroming the plastic parts using both Molotov, Chrome Pen, and All Clad 2 Chrome Paint. It's really not all that difficult. And as you can see, it gives you really great results. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, just lay them all down there in the uh, comments. And I hope this helps to clear it up as I've gotten a lot of requests from the Facebook page as to how exactly I did this. And I hope that uh, this... Uh, answers everybody's question. Alright guys, that'll be it for this part, and I will see you on the next one.